If you're looking to enjoy both music and culture this month, you'll find a variety of activities in the Adirondacks. The Lake Placid Sinfonietta is celebrating its 100th season this summer with both orchestral music as well as more intimate chamber music. The Pro Musica series features chamber music under the artistic direction of musician Nava Perlman. The accomplished pianist is the daughter of famed violinist and conductor Itzhak Perlman. The pianist says audiences can look forward to a variety of chamber pieces played by the Sinfonietta artists and guest musicians. We have some standard, you know, we have some Mozart on the program, we have Schumann on the program, but then we also have some contemporary music that's gonna be interesting. So it'll be a chance, like, if you want to have sort of a taste of many different things, it's a good way to experience that. Upcoming concerts in the Pro Musica Chamber Music Series will happen August 7th at Keene Valley Congregational Church and August 8th at Lake Placid Center for the Arts. And the larger group, the Lake Placid Sinfonietta, plays a free park series concert on the shore of Mirror Lake, Wednesday, August 9th, with an evening of orchestral music from Broadway hits such as Carousel, Cats, and Bye Bye Birdie. Violinist Su Vin Kim joins the Sinfonietta on Sunday, August 13th in Lake Placid. Head to lakeplacidsinfonietta.org for ticket information. And if you'd like to go on a tactile and exploratory trip among giant sculptures in a beautiful setting, you may want to head to the Montreal Botanical Garden. Internationally renowned sculptor Patrick Doherty has constructed monumental pieces you can walk around and even inside. The artist, his two assistants, and hundreds of volunteers spent June and July building the sculptures entirely out of willow branches. The branches are woven around each other to create large structures designed to last for at least two years among the trees and flowers of the Botanical Garden. Well, I'm not sure that uh that I know how to define beauty, I can just say that, that if you bend a stick just before it breaks, it's got a beautiful curve to it. There's a quality of, of gracefulness just before the stick decides to break. Because it uses it use the species that we grow here, the botanical garden, the willow, it finds its place here in a natural environment because it's a natural material, right? So it, the whole thing seems to be pretty harmonious, we find. It's a real, real privilege to learn from him and to see how we can how we can create structures like this. On a personal level, I want to learn how to do this because I'd like to create something similar in my back garden on a smaller scale, of course. But um, it's nice to understand how to get started and what you can do with the materials as well. Doherty also started a communal piece that you can help build yourself from now until the end of the month. For more information about the exhibit, Monumental Doherty, head to the website of the Montreal Botanical Garden. 